This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board, and this is the fifth tutorial in this AutoCAD tutorial series. And in this one, we're going to bring in a template. We're going to add some notes, and we're going to add um, some notes into the template itself. So first thing we want to do is on right in here, this right here, and I've got instructions in 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 your your directory to download that. You want to download that into your download directory. When you click on that and then click download and it should automatically go into your downloads directory. And then when you do that, you go into downloads, it should be here. You right click it and you go copy. Once you do that, your drawing is open right now like this. And I've got a bunch of stuff turned off, but you'd have your dimensions and whatnot. And so then you go in here and you create a new layer and you activate that new layer. And then when you're going to, and you call it to the template, and then you're going to come up here and you're going to, sorry, you're going to come down here and you're going to go, I'm going to actually delete this one because it's already in here. So I'm just going to delete it. And you're going to come into the model. You right click on the model here and you go from template and it's going to open up this directory. Mine's already in there. You can see it, but all you do is if I was to delete it, I just right click and paste right in there. And there it is. Okay. And now you just double click it. Click OK, click OK, and now it's it's actually here, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use this stay in the model tab. Makes things easier for me. Down the road, you'll learn more about this stuff. I'm not going to explore it too deeply right now, but in the model tab, then you're going to come into insert, and you're going to go insert, and it should be here, and you can see mine's right there, and then you position it. You can zoom in, pan around. And you can position it however you like. Let's make it right in the center. It would look nice. Something like that to give us lots of room for our dimensions and so on. Then just click OK. So there, there that it is now. Now the only negative thing is when we go to print this, it's it's very very faint, but it's nothing to worry about. It's not right now. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to add some. Well, we know we've already had the dimensions your dimensions in here. Uh, just for fun, I'll put some more dimensions in just so you can see them. Um, we're going to click on annotation, dimension, styles, modify, and we're going to go text height is going to be, how about like four? And I think it was a little too big before. Um, lines, we're going to be offset from one millimeter from the origin. Text fit primary units, we're going to change that to zero, zero. Like that and I think everything else is good and then we'll close it out and I'm just going to put a couple of dimensions just so you can see it so we go dimension here and here oh dimensions oh keep current layer on dimensions are already there I'm going to delete them though and I'm going to change my dimension color to white I had a hard time seeing it before you don't have to do this particular thing but so Click, click, and they have a dimension there. Now the only thing is my arrowheads are kind of small. I didn't like that. So I'm going to come back into my annotations, into my measurements. I'm just going to change the arrowhead style uh, to two millimeters, I think it was, that we had. Looks nicer. Yeah, two. Click OK. Close it. Now I'll just throw a couple of dimensions in here. It's 50. That looks nice. And I'm going to put the height over here from there to there, just so you can see it. it. looks nice. I would have lined them up actually better. So you're going to dimension everything. Now, one of the things we talked about is this right here is not... So I'm going to go back into layers. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call it notes. And I'm going to leave it white. Um, and I'm going to make it current. So new layer and notes and current. And let's do a note right here with this thing. So. First of all, the note height I did was five millimeters. So if you go to annotation, annotations here, manage styles, and you come in here and the height was five millimeters, apply and close it. Click right there and here. And this, when I click this, so I go to put a note and you can see the note can be on an angle. So what you do is you click here, click, and before you do anything else, it's you can see it's entered as zero, just hit enter. And then you can go scale and the scale is one, it's half scale. So this is half the scale of the real, real thing, right? And to get out of this, you just click anywhere and that stays. 
So that's how you do notes. So you can play with the sizes and you can change the fonts if you like, if uh, you play around with them. This is your leader, this is an arrow. So I'm gonna change the arrow size. To the size of the arrowhead right now is, is 0 0.180, 180 microns. So we're gonna change it to two, the same as we have with the other ones. And click close. And then what we're gonna do is you click the leader and you click wherever you want, whatever you're denoting. So say I'm saying that the scale of this is one to two. So I click there, anywhere along, I can click here even, and I can just come right over to here and I go click like that and then click somewhere out and you can see now it's aiming at that and saying scale. You could do something else like you could say, um, you could put a line here and say break all. A, a typical thing that you would see in a manufacturing environment would be um, zero break all sharp break all sharp edges. And now you can change the position of these afterwards you can you can double click it and and edit the text or you can just click anywhere in the text and when you see this little guy show up here you can grab him like that and you can move him around so i can change positions like so on okay now so hidden lines i didn't put on this but they are there the scale of that is one to two and you can also put a lot of times people would say for this particular thing right here might go uh, reference only like sit here you go ref only whoop so enter zero and ref only so reference only means you can only use it as a reference don't don't take any dimensions off that and utilize those dimensions because it is for reference only okay so this is a drawing is basically a communication piece of communication to somebody. So this drawing is for this person to make. And as I said, Jay, before, go and make sure that every one of the dimensions are there. Now you wanna come down into here. We're gonna just have some fun here. So in here, in this first box, it's typically the company, like I used to work for a company called Magna International, big company in Toronto and, and worldwide actually. And so they would have their company name and logo in here typically. So I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna go, and a little shout out for Magna. And then in here, the project. So I don't know what this project is, but let's just make up a name. And you guys can make up a name for yourselves as well. And so the, the size I did with this is five millimeters as is this. But when you get down into these smaller boxes down here, it's probably a good idea to make them slightly smaller. And so I'm gonna come in here to the, here, do, here, do, do, do. and let's make this two and apply that, close it out, and now we'll put the project. And let's call the project, um, I think that our project was AutoCAD C. We'll call it AutoCAD C. So let's go here, click anywhere in the box. Whoops, enter, zero, AutoCAD C project. And afterwards you can move this around. Like I said, you can double click it and Prove me wrong now, but you can. Oh, I'm in dialog box. I can go like this, double click it. I can change the change the what it says in there, click it once somewhere like that. And I find it's a little bit fussy sometimes. And I can move him around to positions. Title, uh, that's usually the title of, of what this thing is. So we can just make up a, a na name for it. You can make up your own name, uh, widget, widget. And then down here, you can see this is smaller, so we're gonna even need smaller fonts. So we did, this was, was five, I believe, and then we did this one at uh, two. So let's go down into this area here, and this is some very important stuff down here. So we're gonna change the annotation size. I gotta escape, uh, go to this, manage the styles, and you can set your own styles too, so it's much faster than doing it like this, but this is fine the way we're doing it for now. Okay, so the design is usually, that should say designer. You, usually it's the designer, the person. And the reason you want the name of the designer is because if you're if you're working on something and it's missing a dimension, you need to be able to know who made this. You don't want to run around the office trying to, oh, is this your drawing, is this your drawing, and so on. So you typically have your name in there. So we can go here, zero, RHB, 
Rodney Harold Burley, CAD computer, they usually at the CAD station, I guess, that the person's working on. I didn't make this template, um, but I, in some in the future I plan to. Uh, this is the review. So this is the designer and this is the person that reviewed it to make sure it's okay. Uh, so we're gonna put somebody else's name in there like uh, X, Y, Z, whoop, zero, enter. And then X, Y, Z, still doing it. One more time, enter zero and X, Y, Z. And then the file number. So let's just make up a number there, file number. It could be anything. Let's let's make something cool like zero. So we're gonna oh, I'm off my mouse pad. Over here, click enter, and it's gonna be how about eight six seven five three zero nine. You guys don't know what that is, but your parents will. The scale. So this is the scale of this particular thing, and this particular thing we drew it in scale one to one. This is half the scale, but the the component itself is one to one. Which is nice because if anybody wants to take a, if say you're just doing quoting, quoting, you can just use a quick scale to see the size, and then you'll know the the size of the material and stuff. It's not good enough to manufacture it, but it's good enough to take quick dimensions. So the scale would be one to one, and the revision. Revision's super important. As it how it works in engineering is you make a design, you test it and it fails and you, you you redesign it and you test it and it fails and you redesign it and test it and so on or there's an engineering change comes down they add a hole or they take a hole away so there's constantly updates to the drawing so it's very important to stay on top of the drawing and this is the way we used to do it it was a and then a a and then a b and then a c and then a d and so on and so forth all the way up okay this is uh so very important to know that you're always working on the right revision level. I've seen lots of people waste lots of money uh, working on the incorrect level of the drawing. You know, they somebody emails the drawing some night to somebody and they don't get it until the morning, but the, your people have worked all night designing something. And so at any rate, really, really important. Actually, I'm gonna change that to AA. That's typical. And then we went AB and then AC and so on. Project number, that can be anything as well. We can just make an arbitrary number. Uh, we can make how about uh, uh, oh, that's the angle. I keep doing that over and over again. Click enter and then okay. And down the bottom, it should say um, oh, I got the designer there. That's me. Um, you could put anything down here. It could be company, maybe some company information, your location of the company. Or something. But at any rate, that's 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 how that particular that particular thing is done. Okay. So in this lesson, we brought in the, the template. We've added some some references, some uh, notes. We've uh, and all, and all these different things. So now what you can do, if you wanted to print it, you could just go like this. Right click down here. Oh, I'm still in the dialog box. Right click and plot. <laughs> and continue to plot as a sheet here. And then you want to change this from here. If you say you, you can easily make a, a PDF off this, which is really nice, and then you can email it to people quickly, right? Which is what we'll probably end up doing in class. So you click on this and PDF general documentation. You can see it's eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Yes, we're working in metric in this particular situation, but that's how that works. And then you come down here to display what to display. And I was gonna do this, window it in and tell it what exactly you want. So I'm gonna window in from there to there. And then I'm gonna click okay. And you're gonna name it. So test one, and you can see it's on the desktop. Actually, I'd probably go widget. Would you, uh, one rev a a oh save and there's our drawing now you can see the green doesn't show up very nice but so we could we could send this to somebody so this is a finished drawing so that's how you do the whole thing it works nicely one of the things I want to go back and double check and, and say was this um, the revision date so this is this this is the revision and this is the re should have the revision date in here very important to get the revision date so both and we'll go over that in class, just how important all this stuff is and how that works out. And But uh, let's put the date down here and zero, enter. Uh, whoops. 
and right now it's August 12th. Looking forward to getting back to school and it's 20. And there we go, August 12th, 20. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click on it. I'm just gonna hit the escape key. I'm gonna click on this somewhere like that. And I'm gonna move it into a better position like that. Okay, so there's August 12th. So that's the fifth and final project. The next step is you will design something completely on your own and completely finish it just like we've done here. Thank you for watching.